hello everyone you're welcome to my youtube channel my name is precious so here we have this problem um of course this is from indices and it says we should solve the equation 3 raised to the power of y equal to y raised to the power of 9 uh, by solving this it means we should find the value of y so what are we going to do now it is easy to see that once there is a quality sign in indices that there is a rule that guides it. And that's the rule that says, let's say solution here. So that's the rule that says that if I have a to the power of n um, to be equal to the same a to the power of m, that this simply means that my n is equal to m. But in this case, you will see that there is a problem. The base on the right hand side is a variable. And so we don't know what it is. And so this particular rule will do little or nothing for us. In fact, it won't help us in this case. So what are we going to do now? So we will try to see the other ways that we can interpret this problem. It's just a question of interpretation. However, there's something I'm going to mention here, which I will talk about at the end of the video. If you watch carefully, you will see that the power of the index number on the the left hand side is the base on the right hand side i'm going to talk about it you know towards the end of the video now what are we going to do the first thing is like i usually tell my students is to try to do what you know how to do and see how that helps you get what you want so at least i can try to see how to move the numbers to one side and the alphabets to another side so from here I can um, multiply the powers okay because with that if I multiply the power of this by 1 over 9 y the y will cancel this y and will leave me with only 1 over 9 and if I do that this side the 9 will cancel this 9 and leave me with 1 over y so I would have achieved alphabets on one side and numbers on another side without changing anything because since i'm multiplying it on both sides so i've not really changed anything so let's quickly do that so by the time i do that multiplication we are then going to get three raised to the power of nine to be equal to y raised to the power of one over y okay this is one over y sorry so how did i get that remember i said if you multiply y by 1 over 9y, y will cancel y. So you will only get 1 over 9 on this side. And if you now multiply this 9 by 1 over y, what will happen is that 9 will cancel 9, so you will get 1 over y. Okay, so now, quickly, now let's see what else can we do. Now we we'll try to study the problem we have currently. From here... You will discover, especially from the right hand side, that the base here is exactly the same thing as the denominator of the power. So the meaning is that if I can also write the left hand side to look like this, then whatever is in the place of my y becomes the value. What do I mean by that? If I can write, let's say it's an instance, if I can put y, uh, my left hand side to be in form of, let's say, 2 raised to the power of 1 over 2 to be equal to 1, sorry, y raised to the power of 1 over y, you would see that, of course, this has become of the same form. The base is the same as the denominator of the power. And so in that case, your y would have become 2. Now, but that, of course, is not what the value is. So our intent now is how do we get this left-hand side to be of that form? And so there is something we are going to do. And what is that? We are going to look for a number, follow me, a number that will multiply 9. And if you use the same number as a power of 3, you will get the same thing. So, and that number is very easy. It's actually what? 3. If I raise 3 to the power of 3, that will give me 27. And 9 times 27, sorry, times 3 is also 27. And so once you get that number, 
you will now make use of that number, uh, use it as 3 over 3 to multiply the power on the left-hand side. So see what I'm going to have now. 3 raised to the power of 1 over 9 times 3 over 3. Okay. So why is it so? With this now, if you simplify this left-hand side, you will get something that looks like what we are looking for. Okay. So now that... In, in any case, why you are not having 3 over 3 is because you don't want to change the value you are giving. So 3 over 3 is the same thing as 1, and 1 multiplied 1 over 9 is still the same. So we have not changed anything. Now let's try to simplify what we have here. 1 times 3, that will give us 3 raised to the power of 3, all over 9 times 3 is 27. And that is equal to y raised to the power of 1 over y. But then... By rule of indices, we are told that, in fact, from fraction first, you can see that this is the same thing as 3 raised to the power of 3 times 1 over 27. Am I correct? Yes. Okay. And this is my, I'll bring down this. Okay. Now, why did I choose to write this like this? Because we know that there's a rule that says that if A is raised to the power of N and um, it is multiplied by M, that this is the same thing as a raised to the power of n or raised to the power of m. And so with that, we can quickly say that this is the same thing as 3 raised to the power of 3 or raised to the power of 1 over 27. And that is equal to y to the power of 1 over y. But then 3 raised to the power of 3 is simply equal to 27. And so this is 27 raised to the power of 1 over 27 being equal to y raised to the power of 1 over y. And we have achieved what we want. Okay? And so our y is simply equal to 27. And that is the solution to this problem. But then, like I said from the beginning of the, uh, the lesson, I said that there is something I'm going to mention towards the end. There is a simple trick to this. And that trick is a simple understanding of what I said earlier, that the power here is the same as the base here. So all I need to get my answer is to make here to be equal to here. So if I can get a number that I can use... To, uh, to raise the both sides as a power. Of course, you know, if you raise a power here and raise a power here, and it is going to multiply the, the powers you already have. And if you do that, and it is possible to give you the same value here, yeah. and that number that you will bring here, when you express it as the power of this three, will give you the same power here, then that would have given you your answer. Now see what I'm trying to say. So like I said here, all you needed to do is get a number that when you raise it to the power, when you raise it as a power of 3, it will be equal to when it multiplies 3. So, sorry, when it multiplies 9. So if I get that number, which gave us 3 actually. So see what I am saying. If I multiply this by 3 and come here and multiply this one by 3, you know I have not changed anything. I can still remove those 3 and I will still have the same thing. But you discover what will happen here now. Is that this three of course from what I said here we can put this as a bracket and 3 raised to the power 3 immediately gives us 27 raised to the power of y equal to y raised to the power of 27 and so y is the power here and the base here 27 is the power base here and the power here therefore y is equal to 27 okay so why is important that you understand all of this is that I usually tell my students that knowing why something is done in solving a math problem is more important than how that problem was solved. Okay, because it helps you to solve further problems. And on that note, I'm going to give an exercise. Okay, so kindly do this. If 4 raised to the power of x is equal to x raised to the power of 8, what is the value of x? Comment your answer. Uh, I'll give your answer as a comment uh, in the comment section below and kindly do subscribe to our YouTube channel also please support this channel follow our membership platform and uh, we will always give you more content see you in our next video bye